behind the bumpers. I'm Regina, and we're here at the Monterey Regional with Team 7421 Overture. Today, they will be showcasing Daytona, a robot that has it all, from a slick elevator mechanism to a dual-purpose intake and a unique operator uh, controlling system. We're here with Emmy, Suri, Eric, and Tami, and find out about Daytona and more here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by our viewers, supporters, members, and also in partnership with the following. Osh Cut is a premier metal cutting service for first teams. No minimum order, options for same day turnaround, guaranteed lead times, and instant online quotes. Osh Cut is offering first teams 50% off any future order up to $200 when you scan the QR code or go to funroboticsnetwork.com slash OSHCUT. Just upload a 3D model or flat pattern to get started. Animark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options through their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. So we're gonna start with Emmy, who's gonna talk about the drivetrain. Well, for our drivetrain, we're using Swerve Drive Specialties MK4IL2. Uh, with the uh, wheel change for greater speed, we're also using a personalized grip tip that's made from TPU in order to have greater grip tip. And in, in all of the sort, we have cameras for vision. We have one here, here, one over in the back, and one over there. And for greater stabilization and have. For us to have a stronger drivetrain, we're also using a steel belly pan. And I'm going to pass it over to Mike. I am Camila and I'm going to talk about the elevator. This whole mechanism is made up of 2x1, one, 1 8 of an inch thick tubing. Um, except here for the base, it's, um, I don't know if it's really visible, but it's a 2x2, two two, 1 8 of an inch tubing. And down here we have like the whole gearbox that controls this whole thing. It's a reduction of a 5.6 to 1 and um, it's also controlled by bands that go inside the tubing and are rigged all the way into the carriage that then um, carries the arm. And for further explanation of the arm, I'm going to pass the microphone to Suri. Um, then we have the arm that is mounted to the carriage of the elevator, so the whole structure goes up with it. Uh, the special feature of our arm is that it rotates on an X axis and on a Y axis it goes just like a uh, the X axis and the Y. So, okay. And then uh, the X axis is powered by a Kraken with an 80 to 1 reduction, and the Y axis is rotated by also a Kraken but with a 27 to 1 reduction. And we decided to do it like this so we could intake the coils from the coil station and place them on the reef without having to change positions from the ch chassis and only from the arm. Um, I'm passing over to Emmy again so he can explain the intake. So, for the intake, at the beginning of the season, we stated that we wanted to use the same mechanism for both game pieces in order to have less mechanisms and less failure points. So we started iterating with a fixed wheel position, which failed into pinching the, the algae. So we started using a jaw kind of mechanism. As you can see, it has a 9 to 1 reduction for it to have a greater grip. And as well, it used to have flying wheels that would just roll around and intake the things. But during the competition, we realized they weren't doing much other than just removing the algae. So we actually fixed this so they wouldn't move and just be grip. And this only activates for the algae. And it also uses a can range in order to sense when it has a game piece. So for further, Programming and electrical explanation. I'm going to pass over the link to Eric. About the electric part of the robot, we have some adapters in our motors. This is for almond can coolers, so it is more useful and we have less cable. And we also have this can wrench in the intake that allows to when the game pieces are in the intake. About the programmation part of the robot, we made two very interesting things in this season. The first thing is the, is the console of the operator. Her name is Julieta. The way that it works is that when the operator pushes a button and the driver pushes this button, 
the robot itself aligns to the nearest to the nearest side of the reef or the coral station. This product has a specific objective. This is L1, L2, L3, L4, and left and right. Algis and source command. So the robot itself aligns and do everything itself. Also the elevator and the arm. The other thing that we made in the programmation part is a state machine. The way that it works is that it needs to get and set an state. So very very interesting because the state is based on the game pieces of the robot, the coral and the algae. When the when there is the coral, the state of the intake is closest, and when there is the algae, is more open. So it is very interesting how everything in the robot flows in the state, and how with just one command. We can have two different outputs because of the size of the game pieces. Well, I'm pretty sure this robot will get really, really far in this regional. We can't wait to see it in the playoffs. And of course, thank you so much for your time. We wish you the best of luck. And this was Behind the Bumpers. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. Animark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. Oshcut is a premier metal cutting service for first teams. No minimum order, options for same day turnaround, guaranteed lead times and instant online quotes. Oshcut is offering first teams 50% off any future order up to $200 when you scan the QR code or go to funroboticsnetwork.com slash OSHCUT. Just upload a 3D model or flat pattern to get started.